Hallo all, mitten an der guten Abend und willkommen zurück zu Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Spirit Caller for the DS. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we are officially starting our Let's Play here. And I have good news. I was worried about this, but I have good news. Lynx has also agreed that we are going to, or rather he's going to, Let's Play his game as well. So we're going to get to see both of us going to to Duel Academy. And if you watched our previous video, or rather, can I even call it the previous video? Is it really associated with this? Ch oh, whoa, wait a minute. No one is slave for Red is, is <coughs> wait, hold on, let me, let me do a, a good Chumley impression here. No one in Slave for Red is ever good enough to move up. That's the one, that's one of the reasons why I don't like dueling. That was really bad Chumley. Oh, I didn't get to Duel Chumley. When did we get to Duel Chumley? Interesting. I didn't. Even, I didn't even know we could find him this early on. That that was a pretty cool encounter. Um. Anyways, as I was saying in the previous video that I did, it was it was basically just a test video where I was just testing out our decks. Which, if you guys know, I'm using my Amazonist deck, and Lynx just has random assorted cards. Which he did get some more cards. I was playing his file uh, earlier, but anyways. I already have my deck, so we're not technically starting from the beginning, but we technically are because nothing's actually happened other than I've had a few duels. Which, by the way, in case you haven't seen that video, here is me. This is what I look like. I don't know how to change the... Well, I changed that. I don't know how to change the deck thing. I really want to get rid of that starter deck thing. I don't like that because I am most definitely not using a, uh, a starter deck. But I'm, I'm excited about this because GX, personally, for me, it, first of all, I grew up with regular Yu-Gi-Oh! and Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, specifically Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, GX. And the idea of me being on the island with my deck, because in the anime, you know, obviously you have, you have, they have, they have their decks pre-built, they're going to school to be pros, and they're dueling with their decks to see if, you know, they're good enough to be pros. And obviously this being a video game, you have to start off with the starter deck, you have to build your way up. That's not... I mean, that is fun, but that's not what I want to do. So since I was privileged enough to purchase two games that were already completed, which that wasn't intentional, it, that just happened, which was really cool. I got the cards I needed necessary to make my deck, primarily just the monsters. I, as you just saw there, two of those cards were from the starter starter deck, those two spell cards. I didn't really mess with the spell and trap cards, um, so maybe we'll like swap those out as we go. But yeah, I think it's really cool for me to use my Amazonist deck and from the beginning and just see how it stacks up against the other duelists. A spoiler warning, it's really good. I, I've defeated this guy countless times. I think I've beaten this guy. This will be like my seventh win against this guy, which I'll talk about that again in a second because I think I know what we have to do to progress the storyline because I'm not positive on what we have to do. And then I'm also going to activate this. And yeah, yeah. so I've, I've beaten this guy a bunch of times, the bug guy, both the raw yellow guys on my first try, which is impressive because I remember them being tough with the starter deck. And Cyrus, I can actually beat Cyrus. I think I've beaten him twice and we've dueled three times. So this deck's pretty good. But yeah, the idea of starting from the beginning with my actual deck, like I actually just came to Duel Academy. I don't know. There's just something so satisfying about that. And I want to see how I stack up against the big leagues like, you know, uh, Chaz, um, who else? The Shadow, any of the Shadow Riders, you know, the big ones. I don't know. I think it's going to be fun. So we'll see where this takes us. And again, Lynx will also be recording his as well. Did I draw another Amazon Swordswoman? I did. <laughs> That's amazing. All right. Um, we're going to summon you as well. How perfect is it, too? This is the first episode of the Let's Play, and my whole hand is basically just my Amazon's monsters. That That's absolutely amazing. Um, okay, so this guy, his strongest defense position monster, from what I've realized, which, by the way, I've been dueling this guy nonstop in Lynx's file and mine, so I think I know his deck pretty well by now. Both of these cards can pretty much just... Well, she's 1,400. She's 2,200. So, if I... Okay, we'll just do this. And we'll give this to her. So now, no matter what, we can kill whatever he has. Is it the stat? It's not the statue head. The statue head is his strongest defense position monster. 
At least for what he can normal summon. I don't think he... Can he tribute summon? I've never seen him do it. Probably because I never give him the chance. Um, but if he can, I don't know what he has. But for his regular monsters, his strongest defense mission monster is 1400. I've never seen him attack, really. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens. We're also about to win, almost. So, you know, that's great. What, what was I getting at, though, before we start talking about defense mission one? Yeah, Lynx is also going to be Let's Playing this. And while we're progressing through the story, there's going to be brief moments where we stop. And then we're going to duel each other and just see how we, how we duel. I'm excited for that, man. Oh, there's Polymerization! Okay, now if we can get Burfamet and, uh... Gazelle, we can get a cool monster. Battle fit. Wait. Oh, I should have summoned my. Mm. Well, I should have figured this was going to be happening. You start let's playing. You start. Oh, there it is. There's the statue head. Yep, 1400. You start getting distracted and not summoning your monsters. That's going to be the death of me in some of the bigger battles, like with Chaz. Oh, God, dueling Chaz. But I have to get good against Chaz because. In this game, you can unlock different um, outfits, dual discs, stuff like that. And one of the outfits is Chaz's black jacket outfit. I absolutely love that thing. So that's definitely going to be my outfit. But we won't be able to get that for a while. So the first outfit I want to try and obtain is the raw yellow outfit, which isn't that hard to do. I think you just have to beat all the raw yellow guys enough times that the headmaster comes out. And then you beat him a few times. And he's like, yeah, take this. And he gives you the coat. I don't know. I don't remember. It's been a very long time since I've played this game. And I just found out today, uh, Lynx has also played this game before, which I did not know that because he's never mentioned it once, which is, I guess, not weird, but it also is because this is, okay, this is my favorite Yugo game of all time. So it's come up in conversation before. I, I tend to mention it when we talk about Yu-Gi-Oh, or at least like, you know, on the game side of things. So the fact that he's never mentioned this once until the other day, I, that's a little odd. But anyways, yeah. I'm excited to see what he's going to do because he just got a Red Eyes Black Dragon. He unlocked a new card pack, which I believe we also got the same card pack. I haven't been to the shop yet. I've, once I win this battle, I'll show you guys how many points that I have accumulated, which is a lot of them, might I add. I have over a thousand dual points. I'm not spending them because obviously, again, I have most of the cards that I need. Um, but we're still going to buy cards, obviously. I mean, that's the fun of this game, buying the cards and just like... Un unveiling them but yeah i believe we got that new pack because i'm like a level or two ahead of him i think he's now just level two for his school level and i'm level three so it's relatively close so we also got that new pack i think i haven't i haven't been there but we'll see he's got 400 life points left and i have not lost a single life point so going back to life points what a wonderful transition here uh i mentioned earlier that I wait. <laughs> this doesn't transition at all. <laughs> I'm so dumb. Well, whatever. Anyways, transitioning into a new topic. Um, earlier when I was talking about how many times I've dueled people, I mentioned I, th I think it was this guy specifically. I've dueled him like seven plus times now. Um, I wanted to bring up that I don't really know how to progress the storyline. I believe we have to duel the raw yellow guys. I think I have to beat each of them 10 times, or maybe I have to beat all of them 10 times, the raw yellows and the current slifers, and then the story will progress. I think it's just the raw yellows, though. So we're going to prioritize that. I only went into battle with this particular gentleman because I wanted to show off a duel whilst I was, you know, telling you guys whatever I was telling you at the beginning of this video. Um, so that's what we're dueling this loser. But we're going to prioritize dueling the raw yellows. And also just because, well, the raw yellows. They give plenty more experience. Okay, um, what is this thing? Zero defense, okay. We'll have you attack. Easy enough. Goodbye, okay. Wide open, so now, who should do it? Should my swordswoman with 2200 or 1900 Amazon Archer? Or should I use her ability? Ooh. Um, well, I don't think I can use her ability right now, so we'll have Swordswoman attack. Why not? Good enough. Bye-bye. Get him out of my sight. Somebody clean up this life us like a loser. Ah, uh, poor guy. So yeah, here, down here, as you can see, almost 2,000. 
2,000 points. We've reached 2,000 points. That is absolutely amazing. Each card pack, by the way, uh, is 150. So we can definitely get a decent amount of cards right now. I don't know if we're going to. Uh, I think the Blue Eyes pack has um, Mystical Space Typhoon in it, which I kind of do want. So we might, we might go do that right now, actually. I think there's time. We might be able to make it. I don't know if I want to buy cards, like, in the middle of videos or, like, towards the end. Because this guy I've been watching recently, his name's Cooper. Uh, he lets play this game. I don't know when. I don't remember the specific dates. But he would always do cards at the end of the video. Oh, <laughs> I guess we have no choice. Uh, he would always do them at the end of the video. Which is kind of cool. That's a nice way to end it. So I might do a similar thing. I haven't really decided on that, but we'll see. Okay, well, since we can't buy cards, then let's go down here and I guess duel some raw yellows. If we go to the dorm directly, who do we get? Okay, this guy. It's tough to become a blue. Hey, I see a red. Want to give a yellow a shot? I already beat you, sir. I already beat you. And I, th I think it was this guy specifically... Whenever I beat him, he said something around, along the lines of like, oh man, how could I even think about becoming a, a blue or whatever? And I'm over here just thinking I should be a blue because I'm better than all the Raws and the Slifers currently. So I think I should be the one in charge here, but whatever. What do we got here? Ooh, Burfamet's in our hand. Okay, halfway to the Fusion, halfway. We also got Amazonist Tiger, nice. Okay, um, we'll summon the tiger. Now, I have two magic cards here. I don't want to use these swords on a tiger. That don't seem right. Do tigers wield blades? I mean, if they open their jaw, maybe, but that... I don't know. Okay, I need to be careful because I actually am not too familiar with this gentleman's deck. I don't remember his deck too well i think he has zombies i think i think he's the zombie one i might be thinking no no the other guy beer bear throwed or whatever his name is he's zombie boy well let's see what this is morphing jo oh no oh no i should have placed all my spells no <laughs> oh no! oh actually this gazelle this is terrible. This is absolutely terrible. He took my Silent Doom. I can't even get back my Burfamet. He took that away from me. My fusion is gone. Oh, we got Goddess of Whim. Okay, I like her. I Honestly, she's only in my deck because look at that portrait. She is so adorable. I had to add her. And she has an interesting risky ability. Nothing special, though. I I don't know why she's in my deck, but... Okay, Axe of Despair. Ooh, Amazon is Spellcaster. I like this. Wait, yeah, okay, okay. Um, okay, what can I do here? Nothing? Nothing. Okay, main phase. Okay, well, now that I know what he has, we're putting down Axe of Despair, we're putting down Negate Attack, and we're definitely putting down Amazonist Spellcaster, because I can actually use that since my tiger is an Amazonist monster. Just sucks we lost Birthman. I swear to God, if we get Polymerization... I, I'm going to be so sad. I have yet to fusion summon Chimera. And I would like to fusion summon Chimera. I think that'd be cool. Goddess of Whim! Front and center! Look how cute she is. And we're going to use her ability. So we flip a coin. We can either double her attack or cut it in half. I'm going to call Tails. Please. All right! Her attack points double! 1900 attack points she's now stronger than my tiger and because i'm insane with power you know what hold up i'm i'm feeling i'm feeling crazy right now let's do some insane damage right now 3400 points are coming out of this guy's life points this door is mine Amazon is Tiger, destroy whatever that is. He can't do anything. Yeah, get that out of here. Hopefully that does not summon a monster. It does not. 3,400 points. And here's the thing, too. If I get it right, it doubles her points. So that means... Hold on, let me end my turn here so I can see what her points are regularly with this. Because now she has really high points. 
That's right. Summon your defense position monster. What do we got here? Draw. Ooh, okay. Valkyrian. 2,450 2 attack points. Jesus Christ. If that were to double, that would be 5,500, I think. I think that'd be 5,500. Oh my God. That would win us the... We're going to do it. We're going to do it. We're going to call heads. Please, for the love of God, this will win the... Yes! Yes! Oh my God. Wait. Wait, that was Tails, wasn't it? I forgot what heads was. Oh no. Now she's at 1225. That's not what you want. That's not what you want to see. Well, whatever. We'll summon Valkyrian. This duel's still over, but it would have been really cool to, to have ended it in such a way. All right, what else do I have? What is this? Negate attack. Okay. So the real question is, we're going to have her attack. We'll do maximum damage here. What is his defense? Woo, just barely. But we did it. Goodbye. 1600. Nice. Woo, 3000. If our tactic had worked, you'd be dead, but unfortunately you get to squirm a little longer. 1500 points. <gasps> oh, if I summon Gazelle, I can do direct zero. Oh, dude, we're gonna get some nice bonus points. We're gonna get some nice bonus points. Okay, we're gonna summon Gazelle here. Ooh, and we're gonna gain life points in the process. Really kick some dirt in his wounds, you know? Not only couldn't you lower my life points, but I've increased them beyond the starting limit. All right, uh, yeah, we successfully summoned a monster, but also just because I want to, I want, we're gonna do this again. We're not going to battle with her, but I just want to. Uh, okay, we'll go with heads again. There it is. Okay, that is heads. Okay, we did it. She's at forty nine hundred attack points. <laughs> Jesus Christ! We'll have her attack. She's stronger than the Egyptian gods. How far? 400 defense. Oh, sweet Jesus. Oh, wait, he does something. What did he just do? What? What did he do? Uh, I don't know. I missed it, but tis fine. Wait, tis not fine. Oh, wait, yeah, no, it is fine. All right. Gazelle, finish this. So... The reason I'm attacking with Gazelle, for those of you who don't know, at the end of each duel you get points. I already showcased that. One of the bonus points you can get is if you get him directly down to zero. Here, I'll show you. Uh, it should say exactly zero life point bonus. Yeah, 10. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm always, I'm always trying to aim for that if I can. It's not much, but you get just that little bit more. And I like that. Yeah, they, I'm in no position to enter blue. Yeah. That's what he said. I'm in no position. You are in no position. But I am in the greatest of positions to be a raw yellow. Okay. Um. So, again, I think we had to beat those guys like 10 times each. Oh, boy. All right. We got somebody over here. Lock and load. Who we got? The other guy? Toromaki. What the? You think an elite blue like me will face a slapperhead loser? <laughs> uh, Someday you will. And I'm, I'm actually nervous about versing him. Uh, because one of my old save files, he was my rival, man. Like, dueling him was intense. That's what duels were made of. All right, what is this? This is... Oh, it's the... Ah, uh, maybe Alexis will want to duel? Hi, I'm Mindy. Have you seen Jasmine? Oh. She didn't want to duel me. That's tough. <gasps> I'm Professor S S Sartire. Sartire, <laughs> the headmaster of Rayello. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. Please duel me. <gasps> no! Give me what I rightfully deserve. Give me my diploma so I may become a Rayello. You old bastard. I really hope that that's what we have to do. I'm I'm hoping we just have to duel them like ten times each. I mean, obviously that will take a while, but. It's morning. Okay. That, that, for a second there, I was like, wait, what's happening? It didn't, like, do it fast enough. So I was like, hmm. Okay. So let's head to the school. We might as well buy those cards, right? Might as well. Why not? We have so many points. I don't know what I'm saving them for. Maybe a future pack. Who knows? 
But I also am curious if we got the new pack. And I don't think I'm going to buy from this pack just because Lynx uh, instructed me. Hold on. I'm Sadie. I work here on Saturdays and during special events. You should buy lots of packs. We've received a new pack. Check it out. Okay, so we did get it. It's the, I believe, the Red Eyes one. Yeah, there it is. This one here. He bought like five packs of these already. He already got the Red Eyes. So, I don't know. I don't feel like I should buy from this one. Uh, but then again, I don't know which one I should buy. Let me read some of these. Monsters with dark powers gather. Fight with dark spellcasters and powerful traps for beginners. So, Dark Magician Girl's not in this. I wish she was. I'd like to have that. The fabled ritual monster from the land of chaos arrives. Defeat your opponent with beautiful strategy. Beautiful strategy? I like strategy. Um, sure. All right. So I bought a few here. Let's see what we get. Block attack, not bad. Ooh, yummy. Sangin. Okay, so I know a lot of people like him. Not a bad card. I kind of like the guy with the beard. Polymerization! <gasps> Fusion Sage! Oh. Oh, hells yes. These right here. Wait, what the? These good cards. This is not all. This isn't a good card, but I like the Fiend Kraken. I really like that card. <laughs> one of Mako's cards. Okay, Fusion Sage again. Silver Fang. Ooh, Seven Tolls of the... Mmm. That's a good card. I may have to use that. All right, we got two packs left. Great White. The Flea. Ooh, Black Luster Ritual. Okay, so I'm not going to be using that. That's another thing. Okay, so when people let's play this game, I know they tend to uh, swap out their decks. Ooh! Ooh! Oh! As a Weevil fan and an Insect Duelist, my, my main deck when I used to play this when I was younger was Insects. That, that tickles my fancy. Not that I'll ever get to summon that, but Jesus, that's beautiful. Uh, anyways, as, as I was saying, uh, most, most people who let's play this game, they tend to like, you know, reconstruct their decks. They like to swap them out. I am not doing that. I already talked about this at the beginning of the video. The point of this is to see if my personal deck can stack up against the other characters. So I will not be changing my deck drastically. I think I did mention I didn't really mess with the spell or trap cards. A lot of them are still from the uh, structure deck. So I will be changing those as time goes on. But as for the monsters, I don't, I, I think I'm already set. So I'm probably not gonna change those too much. And that's what I like. I wanna see how my deck will do against uh, all the other duelists. Speaking of other duelists, here he is, Beauregard. I, I want to be a game designer. So do you want to duel? Okay, so I know there's a future event with him specifically. So maybe I have to beat you 10 times? I don't know. Rampaging Giants. I'll choose paper. Hey, what do you know? I'm a madman. I choose second. I like to attack, so I think that'll do best for me. Oh, Tyrant Dragon's already in my hand. Okay. Oh, and Burfamit. Nice. Oh, God. Okay, you're the... Yeah. You're the zombie man. Okay. Glad I have two Burfamits now. Oh, this is... This is bad. Okay, this is... Uh... Oh, boy. This is bad. This is bad. Oh, boy. Well, you don't have any Morphing Jars, so I can leave everything in my hand for now, but this is bad. I think that's 2,000 damage, doesn't it? Right? I'm pretty sure. Cold wave. Interesting. We're about to lose some serious life points here. Oh. 1300. Oh. Oh, it's 2200. Oh, God. But he swaps to defense mode. So it's fine. I need a monster. I did not get a monster. Oh, no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Why can't I place anything? All right, cold wave. Well, uh, if he summons a monster, we lose. He did not summon a monster. We have one chance. And thankfully, Axe of Despair is in my hand. So if I can summon anything, I can outpower him. It just has to be... 1300 or higher. We got a monster! Oh! Oh, get wrecked. It's Mooka Mooka. He's 2400! 
And to make sure he stays insanely powerful, Axe of Despair! <gasps> the power of Mooka Mooka! 3,100 points! Alright, this duel has officially been turned around. Thank God. Okay. Uh, also, we're gonna set this in case somehow he dies. Battle. Oh, you poor... Okay, do I want to deal damage? Or do I want to kill this thing? Because that thing is going to be a pain. We're gonna deal damage. I want to dish out some sweet vengeance. There we go. That's not bad. I like that. Okay. I end my turn. This is spooky. I love this music, by the way. The losing music is such a bop. I love it. What the hell is that? What does that do? Does that do piercing damage? What is that? What's happening? Why are you in attack mode? Why are you in attack mode? <gasps> Ooh! Gazelle! Okay. We just need fusion. We already have refusion. I'm going to set refusion. But we can fusion summon... Once we get polymerization. Oh man, Chimera might come out this duel. What a comeback that would be. Also, I'm lowering my monsters attack once when I play cards. I need to remember that. Okay. Um, I'm going to get rid of the, that was 2,600. I almost screwed us by not paying attention, but it's dead, it's fine. It's not alive anymore, it can't hurt me. All right, we're slowly retaking control of this duel. This is, this is great. I, I, this is the first time I'm actually struggling with a duel here, aside from Cyrus when I first started. But that's a different story altogether. Alright, um, how strong are you now? 3,100? 3,100 points, you say? Well, prepare to get freaking wrecked. Song fire, oh, sweet Jesus Christ. No! Oh, God, no. Oh, 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 oh no, God. He has so many life points! I should have figured he was baiting me. He put that thing in attack mode. And I knew Fire Princess's ability, so I wasn't concerned. But he was ready for it. He was ready. I don't like when things are ready. Okay, well, I have to summon Valkyrian. I have to get ahead of the game here. We have to do some damage. We, we have literally no choice. Okay, um, I'm gonna have you attack this. Best choice I made all year. That's terrifying. He has big shield gardeners. Um, have you kill Flame Princess or Fire Princess? What's your name? Fire Princess. Okay. That's probably another big shield gardener. So I'm gonna hold off. Uh, I need to summon more monsters. This isn't going well. That's oh boy. Okay. I got a polymerization, please. That'd be nice. That's not a polymerization. That's not a... You know what? I'm going to activate this immediately. Just pray it's a spell. It was a spell. I don't know what it was. I think it was Sebi Key's Blessing. Was that what that was? Yeah, I see the gator. That's what that is. Okay. Um, Let's summon out Marauding Captain. Let's attack this. The Orc! Wait, that thing has zero defense. Interesting. Okay. I'm going to have you attack. If it is Big Shield Gardener, it is! I'm going to take damage, but it switches to attack mode. Oh, God. That's a lot of... Oh, sweet Jesus. It switches to attack mode, though, so he's going to take some damage now. And now, he has no monsters. Nothing. So now, we can start dealing some sweet damage. Especially if I can get polymerization. If I draw that, we'll be in good good standings here. I have to assume that's a big garden. I have to make that assumption here. Okay, how strong are you? 2800. Attack! It's not big garden. Okay. But I can't take the risk that it could be. So, from now on, anything he plays, Muka Muka has to attack it. But we also now have three other monsters that can attack him directly. So, you know, that's uh, that's pretty nice. And soon the playing field will be leveled. Yeah, look at that. 
Look at you losing all those life points. You had 9,000 a minute ago, and now you're down to nothing. Ah, we're closing the gap there, beer lulus. You're losing. Can you barely it? <laughs> okay, he's definitely baiting me into something. Or no, he's just going to attack. Uh, interesting. Interesting choice you've made there, friend. Interesting choice there. Leaving yourself very vulnerable to my attacks. <gasps> Polymerization! Activate! Oh, this is awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to my fusion monster here. Chimera, the mythical beast, in attack mode. Uh, I want him in attack mode, obviously. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. 22, 21. I thought it was 2200. Oh, whatever. Still very powerful. Um, he has 3,500 points. So what we're going to do is we're going to have Valkyrian attack. Lose 300 of your life points. That's rough stuff. Okay, this will... Hmm. This will take him down to... Just want to see if uh, there's a way I can do direct damage here. Doesn't look like there's going to be. So... Well, Muka Muka attack. Nice. And we win with Chimera! Nice. Never a doubt. Best duelist on the block. Oh, you beat me. How'd you do that? I was winning. Look at all those points. Look at that. Woo! My goodness gracious. We got a lot of points from that. That was crazy. That was 18 turns. Now that's what you call a duel. That was a duel. You're good, no wonder you're trying to become a duelist. Yeah, yeah, no wonder. No wonder. Okay, well, um, I think I'm gonna end this one here, but before we start the next video, in the next video, we're dueling <laughs> no one. I was hoping that'd be a raw yellow. Well, let's just go straight to the school. Maybe uh, somebody will show up here and want to duel. Oh, wait, 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 we got someone, Briar, I'm Briar, I'll do a slave for red, but not obelisk blues, I hate them, okay, well, I guess I forgot about Briar, I have not dueled this guy yet, I don't remember what his deck is, but we must be making progress, because now he's here, and I haven't seen him before, so next time, we'll be dueling, Briar.